Okay, so last tutorial I showed you how to open a new document and put your image onto it. Um, this one, this tutorial is going to focus on using some more processes to make your photos um, just a little bit more artistic and more complete and just some things you can experiment with and um, have a go at using in today's lesson and over time so you can create some interesting images. Okay, <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do is change this to a black and white image because I think that's a, a better start to work on. So first we go to image, <clears throat> sorry, image, um, sorry, first we have to select the layer, that's why it's not working. So we'll just select the layer we're working on and go to image adjustments and we want to desaturate. So that'll just make it black and white. Um, after that, we can go to image adjustments again and change the brightness and contrast. So if we move this over here, I might just turn the brightness up a little bit. Not that much. And the contrast up as well. And we get more of a, you know, a contrast between the blacks and the whites on here. So we'll hit OK. So that's a good start. That's something we can start to work on. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use the pen tool, which is here. So if it isn't on just the normal pen tool, click down on that icon and you'll get a list of different pen tools you can use. So we just want the pen tool, the, the regular one. And I think <clears throat> what we're going to do is just simple kind of drawing. So we're going to click on a point, click on another point, and we're going to make a rectangle that kind of goes over the eyes here. So once we've clicked around there and, made, and finished off that circuit, we can right click and select mate selection. Um, and you'll see once you've made the selection, there's this kind of dotted flashing line around the shape that you drew. So to add color, we go to layer up the top here, a uh, new fill layer and solid color. And yep, I mean yellow is okay. The colors are obviously going to uh, be reflective of the subject matter and you're going to consider what colors and what they say about your subject. So we've got this. <clears throat> um, we can then, because it's I think it's a bit bold <laughs> and a bit kind of just you know, breaks the image up a little too much. So we're going to go to the opacity over here, making sure that we've actually selected the layer that we're working on, which is the color layer. And we're going to change the opacity maybe to 75. So we end up with something like that. So the other thing we can do so that's, that's one option, you, know, you can do, make shapes, color them, that could say something about your subject matter. The, I'm just gonna turn that off for a sec. So the other thing we can do is use the magnetic lasso tool. So that's under the marquee tool here. And if it's not on the magnetic lasso tool, just select that. So this is good for um, you know, selecting parts of the image and then changing them. So, I'm just going to maybe color in my jacket. So I'm going to click on the start of it and then very, very carefully, because you have to be as careful as possible, trace around the outside of my jacket. And the, the magnetic lasso tool kind of automatically um, traces, but you have to be as close as possible, otherwise it just doesn't work. And what I'm doing as well is just putting little markers, like so clicking at certain points, and that kind of makes those marks more permanent. So once you close that channel, so click back on the first uh, part you clicked on, um, <clears throat> it'll turn into like a make selection kind of image as well. So it'll have that flashing line around the outside. So again, we're going to go to layer, new fill layer and solid color, and we're going to make that yellow. So as it, again, it looks a bit, bit too much. 
So I'll turn down the opacity and now I'm wearing a yellow jacket. Uh, it looks a bit dodgy around the edges. So we're going to go to control T to transform again. And we're going to pull that jacket more in line with what it looks like in real life. And then we'll click, click enter. And now I am wearing a yellow jacket. So that's an option as well. You can change, um, you know, the color of a jacket. If you really wanted to, you could, you know, for whatever reason, <laughs> I could change the color of my beard. I don't know why you would, but you know, it's, it's up to you to say something about um, the subject matter that you're exploring or the subject, the person that you're exploring in your series. So, you know, I've selected my beard. And we've got a layer, new fill layer, solid color. So I've done gradient there, which is an interesting one. You know, so I can change the opacity. So now I've got a, a, a rainbowish beard for whatever reason. So, you know, I wouldn't necessarily do this in my series, but it's just a demonstration of the techniques you could use in your work. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Have a go at um, selecting areas and using a solid color um, uh, layer fill. So have a go at that.